Hello, welcome back to session 13 of A Night to Remember. We are joined here with the gang today as they came out of the forest um, after a very interesting series of events last session. They have met up with Lucy and Belle. Uh, Belle has revealed that she thinks that her sire and the Sumitsi plan on betraying the Camarilla and everybody's decided that with everything that's going on they should probably uh, head on down to Alex to uh, make this all his problem um, and <laughs> yeah so uh, how obviously you've, you've got two vehicles um, I'm guessing you guys are all just jumping into the ute yep. uh, you had the wheel from the back of the ute and yep. uh, mm -hmm. yeah um, so as you're, as you're all loading up uh, you notice the wind starts to pick up and pick up massively very suddenly. I feel like a perception check's in order. <laughs> uh, where's my character sheet? Here's my character sheet. So... What's plus... I mean... Or awareness or whatever it's called. Yeah, well, let's see what's going on. Can we... Can't my... Roll 20 work... Thank you. <laughs> so... Awareness and wits. I look around and see if there's a disturbance in the force. Bruh. I'm gonna go as well. See. Um, do I get to add my all specs? Yeah, yeah. Just... Oh, do we get to heal any of the willpower between sessions? Uh, let's say that... you heal one. Everyone heals one willpower from the relaxing trick. Down Just because I had only three left. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah. Ooh. We get reset every session. Is it every session? No, because it's supposed to be when we rest. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, like you end a session and then rest. Yeah. So, so oh, no. okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna willpower reroll two of those dice. Uh, you don't. You did crit. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, well. But now it's extra crit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you got another ten. Um. Okay. So you've got, uh, four, five successes. Sandy's got two successes. Uh, oh, did you hear a new hunter reroll? Uh, oh, wait, what? I don't no, you re. Hang on. Oh, wait. wait you should have only rerolled one die. I'm trying to confuse. Why'd you roll twice? I glitched out, I guess, because I thought I've cancelled the first one. Oh, no. I guess grab the first one. Just Apparently, the, first the last one, you only rolled two dice, and the first one, you rolled five. Yeah, and five one's correct. Yeah. Okay. I don't know why. Alright, no problem. And just, so just got five. Uh, I've got two, three, and five there. Okay, so, um, so if I, so you, everyone sort of, you sort of feel the wind, and then all of a sudden it obviously picks up. Belle lets up a yelp as she tries to hold down her dress, and everybody <laughs> notices. You hear the sound of a tree getting ripped out of its roots uh, and everyone who's got more than three successes uh, you can in the distance hear a pack of uh, or uh, almost like a, a surrounding you you hear wolves howling in every single direction time to go <laughs> hey werewolves we gotta go now yeah yeah I think I think that makes sense let's do that <laughs> I'll, I'll send me get the wheel. <laughs> okay, I was gonna say I stand the back, like, got the back of the year, shooting people. I think I'll do that. <laughs> I'll have a That's the more fun part. <laughs> so, so you're all jumping yeah. in the car. Yeah. Um, I, I turn to Lucy and I go, either get the premission or get out. We gotta go. All right. Uh, well, Lucy jumps. I suggest in, uh, the you force. And then I jump in the car because there's two cars, so they're taking one and we're taking the other, I guess. Yeah, there's two yeah. cars. So, how do you want to split? Because uh, do you, I guess you don't want anybody in the middle seat because you probably want all guns, all hands ready to shoot. Yeah. So, uh, does who who wants to go, with Bell? I'm guessing. I guess I go with Bell and Lucy. That makes sense to me. All right, cool. So. So I'll jump in um, their car and I'll just load up the shotgun. Just a point of clarity is the um vampire werewolf 
that we staked it's on is you. that which car is that in uh the Who's uh low cc oh, okay, okay. Well, we'll let that one go first and then we'll still second first okay cool we'll act this would we'll call it so uh so sandy's going to i'm guessing you're taking the wheels on the ute and you and have salim and janista uh in the vehicle uh with their guns at the ready and then yep. lucy bell and Eldon are going to be in Bell's car, also uh, gun at the ready. Yes. So you so, essentially, I... you essentially have two shooters, one driver. Yeah. <clears throat> now, uh, for those who are jumping in Lucy's Ute, uh, is anyone going to like? Is anyone going to sit in the back with the actual? Um, Staked werewolf vampire hybrid, or are you going in? The um, yes, yeah, someone should say uh, who is Lucy or Bell driving. Uh, so they I thought they were going with you, and that when we have the you, don't we? Yes, yes, the one with the vampire werewolf. Yeah, so I have no driving skill. I was assuming one of those two are driving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, Lucy will be driving here. I'll do so for the back. Okay, so I'll I'll go in with the werewolf then. Yeah. I'm guessing Bell doesn't have firearms. I only have one point of firearms, but it's better than nothing. <laughs> I, I mean, I guess, yeah, it is better than nothing. Yeah. Uh, hang on, Don't worry, we're, we're going to be right, like, behind you guys, so uh, we can still shoot in front. To cover you. I mean, it might just be better for both myself and Bell to be in the tray. Yeah. Okay. But then someone will have to cover um thing. That's a, that's Yeah. Alright, so I'll, I'll go in the tray and then Bell can cover Lucy. Yeah. Where is yep. firearms? Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. So. Very good. Okay, so, um,. Yeah, okay, so you two jump in the back. Uh, she sits down, she has a, uh, a basically a hunting rifle. Uh, you have your shotgun. And, um, yeah, okay, so uh, obviously you'll see the Utes going first. Yep. So, uh, obviously, yeah, you, you start heading on down the road uh, with, obviously, the other, other lot following you. Uh, and... As you do so, you, a tree uh, goes flying across the road and uh, blocks your path. Oh, so no. I do not want to fight a pack of werewolves. Um, can I see it? any way around it? Uh, uh, you could you could try going off road if you want to, but it would be uh, awfully risky given that one side's a pretty much a sheer cliff. Um, and then, yeah, the other side is a very steep downward hill. How big's the tree? Yeah, yeah I was um, about to ask. I'd say like a medium sized tree got ripped off the top of Does the Does it look like something I could lift, is the question. Um, what was your strength score? Four points. Four points? Oh, probably, yeah. You could probably blow right, well to throw it. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. I'm a, I'm a blood surge, and not just throw it, just literally just slide it down to the other side of the hill. Yeah, yeah. I don't need to pick it up. I need to get it out of the way. So I'm just gonna just grab it, couple you know thick branches, and just build this thing down the side of the hill. Yeah. So I'll do a blood surge. I don't think there's a special button for that, is it's there? It's just it's just the rouse check, and then you just add whatever the die is to the uh, test you're doing. Oh my goodness, my roll 20 is being an ass. <laughs> it's not showing me like the rest of my character sheet. It stops at humanity and I can't see anything lower. Oh. Hold on. Well, okay, Wait, you should be... the bottom of the sheet? No, as in like, so I can't see Hold the up. buttons. Oh, okay. They're just not scrolling down. I can now, I just reload the sheet. So, right. do a rouse check. Oh, cool. like one hunger. Yeah. And then I do just a strength check, eh? Uh, yeah, strength, um, 
Yeah, it would just be a stream. Strength plus grappling? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you get an extra dice because you roused. Um, but but uh, yeah, and, uh, it's, yeah, it's the blood potency thing. I think it would, be, yeah. it would probably just be strength plus strength plus blood potency. Oh, your blood, strength plus uh, strength? Yeah. That's probably a split. Oh, oh, yes, that makes sense too. Because blood surge. Uh, you should probably have one die if you've got one blood potency. Yeah. So, and then, so secondary attribute, and then modify one. I'll take that. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Did you actually crit crit, or... I oh, know, No. Uh, you did, um... You did messy it, though. Um... Eh, look, if it's gone, it's gone. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, what was your clan compulsion? It's like feral something, isn't it? Um... Oh, yeah, I get really annoyed. I hate wearing clothing. Everything becomes, like, I go back to being an animal, effectively. Okay. I can only speak in one yeah, word but sentences. Doesn't, doesn't that only activate when it's, um... Oh, when you fail, that's right, you're correct. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes, um, so you're, you're fine. Um, yeah, you you pretty much easily just, like, walk on over to it, and you just, like, grab it, and you just throw it down the hill. And as you throw it down the hill, uh, do you want to give me another Wits Plus Awareness? Yep. And this is just you. <laughs> Rerolling that. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Uh, you. Oh my goodness. Uh, never wow. mind. Okay. Uh, now what? you. So uh, that's like double ones. Now roll me a. Um, Wait. Roll me a one d ten. Yeah, he he's got his. Um, he'll be. Um, oh my goodness! There's a one in all of it. I... Yeah. All right. Yeah. That pisses me off. <laughs> Um, so what do I do? It's just, just a 1d10, 1 10, 1 10, eh? Yeah. I'll just randomize it and see what you get. Uh, what my, was... my clan compulsion is very simple. I, I, I go yeah, back to so being animal. Yeah, so was the first one that is hunger. You want to set your hunger. I only have one dot on hunger, so I guess I'm just going to be hungry for the rest of the session. And if I see a vampire that I can feed on, I'll be feeding it. Sorry, a werewolf. Yeah. Ooh, actually... I have the resonance. I need to remember that. You do have the resonance, so you get your bonus to. Uh, well, it's most of your things. Wouldn't it be animalism, protein? Uh, yeah, your animalism, protein. Trying to other remember. Two, I've got passive. animalistic and cloric. Yeah, you got most of the things. And um, oh, wasn't wasn't like you away? Yeah, you hard. It's harder for you to resist frenzies. It's like three mm, plus three. Three points harder. Yeah. <clears throat> Mm, it's like you're drinking the blood um, supernatural creatures has uh, interesting effects. Yes. I'm trying to remember where all the resonances are, but I'll find that. Yep, yeah, cool. So, what happens? I completely fail my, my, uh, my perception check. Oh, fuck. You failed your perception check. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm just wondering if I get jumped by something. Because if, if I don't see anything, I'm moving the tree and then getting straight oh, no, back you, in the car. Yeah, no, you don't see shit. I jump in the car and tell him to gun it. Yep. Uh, go, go, yep, go! Yep, yep, you, start, you start going. And uh, you start flooring it down. Do, 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 do. Okay, so I'm going to do a drive check for the ute. Uh, drive, drive, drive. This is not great. Uh, and uh, same thing for Sandy. Do you want to give me your drive check? Just roll one and count it manually. Oof! So no one success. So you're fine. Um, so uh, as as the uh, the wind starts picking up and then all of a sudden it starts pelting down with rain. Uh, at this point, everyone can start hearing the howls around them. Uh, the rain's pretty much coming just dead side on. Uh, and Lucy loses loses control of her vehicle, uh, and it basically uh, t it basically goes turns uh, ninety degrees, and then ends up slamming against a uh, slamming against the side of the mountain, causing some rocks to fall down on top of uh, the two back passengers. Uh, Sandy manages to keep control of the vehicle, and oh, um, I mean it's up to you if you want to overtake or stop. I'll yes. stop. you stop behind him. Yeah. yeah, you stop. Um, okay, well, what's your course of action, guys? I think... So... Most, I think well, are we buried in rubble? 
Uh, yes, partially, and the uh, the okay. vehicle's stalled. Okay. We... I think. I say everyone what... out. Let's. We gotta. We gotta save. Like pull them yeah, out. I... Like. I think what Salim would want to do would be to try and pull the vampire werewolf thing and stuff it in the trunk of the other car. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for the help. <laughs> uh, you all start jumping out. Um, uh, all of you give me another wits plus awareness. I should probably wait for you to ask to do it, but I'll, I'll, get, I'll, I'll tell you to all do it again anyway. Oh. I just screwed up. Understand does very well. Everybody, no, I'm still waiting for Eldon. I'm gonna say, if I'm covering a rubble, do you want me to roll on this? <laughs> oh, man, you, if you if you feel like it's uh, fitting not to, actually, I'll, I'll, I mean, I'll roll it if you're asking for it. <laughs> yes, roll okay. Um, so, so Salim and Sandy, both of you, uh, so as you jump out, you notice these um, very well well dressed uh gentlemen and uh ladies standing uh, uh sort of standing behind the trees below you uh each one of them is armed with a very big uh a very big gun to be uh, honest and then above you you can see what seems to be some form of flying humanoid i'm gonna keep my mouth shut <laughs> Oh, okay, so I'm disengaging Alpha... myself from Rumble currently. Yeah. Yeah. Alpha character, I think I know what this sounds like. I'm not sure what to roll to know if Salim knows. Um, what do you? Do, I see uh, do you want to PM me? Uh, what yeah, you, you and me, it, then, Peter. What you think it. it is, and then I'll tell you to roll what I think you should roll. If you're in the ballpark. Um, roll me a, um, roll me a, da, 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 uh, it's not that, it's, uh, it give me an, I'll say resolve plus a cult. Okay. It's not politics again, is it? <laughs> uh, no, this wouldn't be politics. Because this is sort of thinking under pressure, so I think resolve. Well. Uh. No. no. One crit. Two successes. Uh, no, 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 because you remember you actually have to get two tens for it to actually crit. So it's just one success. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so you're sitting there and you're like, "That's it. who was the other way? Who was who was the other person? Uh, it was Sandy. I know. Yep. Yeah. Okay. okay um, so you're uh, you're not sure, but it doesn't. It doesn't bode well for you. Um, all right, all right. So, what yeah. I'll do is... Sorry. I'll fly in the air and shout. No one gets closer and no one gets hurt. Yep. Uh, so are you looking... When you do this, so you shoot up, and are you are you going to look down at the figures, or what are you doing? I'm looking at the figures. Looking at the figures. Yeah. Uh, Celine, what, what, who's who's got your attention? Um. Oof. Uh. If I can see Sandy turning towards the figures, I'm going to try and keep my eye on the thing that's flying above us. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh. Yeah. The thing flying above you. It starts to. Uh starts to descend and then it rests on like basically the side of the cliff as and it's sort of just watching uh use it seems to be particularly watching the back of the ute with uh some interest uh the figures down the bottom uh they're all going to shoot back at you uh do you yeah. uh, so sandy do you want to give me a uh, yeah what are you gonna do yeah, you're, tr you're trying going to try and get out of the way. Yep. Do you have to do a roll to activate that, or is that free? Oh, it's a rouse check. Rouse check. Okay. Yeah. 
so yeah. So basically, my rapid reflexes means my defense full is. Um, Oh, yeah, so again, no penalty from just standing around, so that's my rapid reflexes. And then my fleekness, which is what I'm activating right now, lets me, gives me dexterity bon dexterity plus athletics bonus when defending. Okay, yeah, because well, you're going to be doing that. Yeah. Um, so you'll so, have to... Piling uh, these... I'll just do one roll for everything, and I'll just do them all as opposed. So, uh, um, hang on. Uh, greater than greater than five is that way. Yes. Ah, oh, shit. Was that all less right. than five? Uh, That's one hunger. Two, three, four, five. Okay. I'll just do a one pull thing. And do you want to give me your roll? Yep. So it's six. Plus athletics. Yeah, to right? dodge, basically. Yeah. And then obviously yeah. use as you said to you get your um celerity. Yeah. I'm re rolling. Yep, fair enough. Ah, oh, damn it. So you equal, so uh, that just means you take... Um, so that just means you take uh, one damage then. Obviously because it's uh, the equal, so you always just take one superficial for the defender. Uh, so basically, uh, about like three people just simultaneously shoot back at you as you shoot in the air. Okay. Alright, so uh, what can Janister and I do? <laughs> what are, what's our situation? <laughs> Uh, so obviously, um, just you jumped out of the car. You 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 see Sandy sort of walk over to the road, yell for people not to get close to the shoot the air. Uh, Salim's sort of staring in the sky and at something, uh, and yeah, you, so you jump out. Um, obviously, um, Aldon sitting in the back of the Ute, uh, covered in rocks, currently throwing them off. Uh, Bell's basically helping there. Uh, so what do you what do you want to do? I would probably look up at um, whatever uh, what Salim's looking at. Okay, um, give me a uh, a wits plus a cult. Let's mix it up. Wits plus a cult. <laughs> it's not like it's going to hurt you dice for very much, to be honest. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no. oh. Yeah, okay, you know immediately that it's a, gar it's a gargoyle. Ooh, nice. What does that mean? <laughs> it's a... Uh, you know, let's say, you, you, know, you know that they were an, an artificial uh, bloodline created to be slaves to the Tremere. And they uh, long ago rebelled, and they very much do not like Tremere at all, as you can imagine. Gosh. Well, they can join the fucking club, can't they? <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I look up, I see there's a gargoyle, and I go, Oh shit, gargoyle above us! Would it automatically be hostile to vampires? It, Just it's vampires a in general? It's a type of vampire. So it's a type of vampire, okay. Yes. Um... You probably don't know, you wouldn't know enough about that, uh, but uh, Janessa does know that. It's just whether or not it's going to attack us, or if it's allied to the, the people. Yeah, you don't know anything about the people below you, unfortunately. How many of them are there, exactly? Uh, you can basically three. see there's about three. Uh, I can see in the dark. Yeah, so you, you, you know that, well... Those who pass the test can see definitely three people shot back at you. If there's more hiding in the distance, you wouldn't know. Alright, so... Because I'm... How long does it take me to get out of the rubble? Uh, it's probably going to take uh, the two of you around five or so minutes. Uh, Lucy's fixing the fr uh, Trying to get the ute back starting again. I think... So I'm out of, I'm out of commission for this scene, guys. Have fun. 
<laughs> yeah, mm. I think that the because no one has done it so far. Uh, it, you know, I think Salim would just yell at them, "What the hell do you want?" Yeah, uh, fair enough. Uh, they answer back by releasing more howls, more wolf howls, and the wind picks up again, and the rain gets even heavier to the point that it's starting to now um, obscure them with a just through the set thickness of the rain. When the howls get louder, I shall get me out of here. Yeah. So, uh, so just. To clarify, Storyteller, the people who are shooting at us, they're the ones howling. Yeah, they started howling like a wolf. And the rain's picked up even heavier. God damn it. Um, I'm gonna no trust dream. Janesta to have eyes on the gargoyle, and I'm gonna go over to the ute and see if I can help... Um, Eldon, uh, Lucy, and Bell get dug out of there. Okay, yeah, with three of you, you basically, uh, as the as the saying goes, many hands make light work. Uh, you basically shorten it from being about five minutes to being about two minutes just from lending your helping hand here and there. Okay. Yep. Yeah, um, and what what do you, um, what's uh, Sandy going to do, and what's mm-hmm. Janessa going to do? I'm going to keep an eye on the gargoyle. I'm going to frame my shotgun at it in case it starts to swoop down. If I can see it start to swoop, then I'm going to take a shot. Yeah. Yep. Fair enough. Um, after about a minute or so when you've cleared out the back, it proceeds to do exactly that. Give me a um, oh, composure plus firearms at a minus two due to the sheer density of the rain look at me not do it (laughs) (laughs) what was your dice pool anyway because it'll be two okay let's see oh no sorry three oh oh, that's not too bad yay hey you got one pass (laughs) you got the only possible pass yeah (laughs) Yeah, no, fair enough. Uh, so it immediately swoops down. Uh, I say Celine because you have uh, heightened reflexes. You may give me a uh, resolve plus awareness plus um, all specs. Oh, okay. Nice. Let's go. I mean, uh, oh no, it's not messy because you got a normal crit. Um, so yeah, you you uh, you have you notice uh, the goggles immediately sweep down towards, um, and you can see from its trajectory, it's immediately heading towards the werewolf. I would like to shoot it, please. Yep, you can indeed. Um, you'll get the minus two as well, simply because of the. Okay, uh, so range. it's uh, it's composure plus firearms. Yeah? Yes. Yep. Yes. Do I does do I add heightened senses to that? I'm not hmm. sure. I, basically, what question. I'm trying to work out is whether I'd say in this more... situation with the rain, yeah. it's cancelled by heightened senses. Let's say yeah. I'd say so. Okay. I'd say so. That's that's fair enough. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, you uh, as you said, so you shoot it. Um, and you manage to uh, hit it square in one of the wings, and it, obviously getting hit in one of the wings, uh, ends up falling forth and uh, crumbling against the ground and rolling uh, in front okay. of you. So, uh, how near to me is it? Um, a, a couple of meters away from you. Yeah, I'm gonna get back to my feet and train the shotgun on it because I don't think I would I don't think I would trust it to stay down. Yeah, no, fair enough. Uh, how close are you getting? I'm not going to try and get any closer. I just want to not be hunched over helping Eldon out of um, the rubble. Yeah. Because I feel like if I do that, it's going to attack me and 
I'm we're all gonna be dead. Yeah, no, fair enough. Um, yeah, it basically, as soon as it hits the floor, it immediately um, pushes away from you off the ground. Um, using its sheer force, it manages to leap. Uh, mm. uh, basically, a cut just a few meters in the air, just from the, its sheer strength, and um, it sort of resumes flight and uh, disappears back up into the uh, back up into uh, the, the the mountains above you. And uh, set, Sinister, I'm... what the fuck was that? Argoyle, fake, uh, artificial vampire, don't like us very much. You don't say! <laughs> no, I do, that's why I said it. Can we focus, please? <laughs> uh, Sandy, what are you currently doing? So, my plan is to keep the shooters focused on me, so I'm going to shoot back while taunting them. Okay. Uh, are you going to try and lead them away, or are you just staying still? Uh, I'd stay still, because yeah, cause I have to also keep out watch for the others. Okay, yep. So, um, as you, you shoot back, you shoot. Uh, let's say, Robbie, just a 1d10. Should be sort of like a luck roll, to be honest. Ooh, a five. Guess what? Uh, pretty middle of the road. Um, so you shoot, and when you shoot, you actually notice that there's a figure uh, approaching you who's a few, probably just like a few meters away from you. Um, you sort of see the shot go through the air and just whiz past, um, almost like a giant, a giant humanoid head. They're probably like seven foot tall, and they sort of like dodge out the way. And you know, obviously knows uh, they're moving as they're moving towards you. All right, nice. All right, uh, and we'll go back. Uh, what's everyone doing now? Declare your actions. Do I get uh, out? <laughs> I'll say yeah. I'll say you're out now. You, you. That was like it swooped down when you got cleared. Um, so. Uh, yeah, you guys, um, yeah, you're all clear Okay, well, I uh, grab the shotgun, and what do I see? Uh, you can't see the gargoyle has gone back over the uh, cliff above you. Uh, looking around, you can s sort of see uh, figures starting to move towards you. Uh, all of them seem much bigger than a normal human should. Uh, and they sort of been, seem to be moving in sort of like a, sort of one, like a military style duck run, where they're trying to minimize their body... Uh, size while still being quite big, uh, and they're all advancing on you. So using the Udus cover, I'm gonna call it to Lucy. We've got company. Get over here. And then I'm gonna effectively just shoot the nearest one that I can see. Yep. All right. Um, so yeah. Again. And I'm also gonna activate, just in case, uh, my feral weapons, which is a rouse check. Yeah, you do that and get your feral weapons out ready. Yeah. Yep. Doing really bad on the rouses um, so far. I can't remember the bonus based on resonance. That's just any. It's not for the rouse check. It's just any. Uh, it's the activation of the of the discipline. Yeah, the actual um, um, abilities, actual use of the ability itself. Yeah, I thought oh, so. Okay. So like you would have a bonus, like say if you had to use animism for like say if you had to do your uh, a manipulation plus animalism, you'd get your bonus there type thing. And it's one dice right now for me, isn't it? Yes, it should be showing your blood plan, so yeah. Oh no, it's just resonance. Yeah, the resonance just because you're plus one. It is yep. important to remember because I think it's any time you add your disciplines, then it matches to the pull itself, so. Yeah, anyway, so, um. Yeah, uh, so you're going to be doing that. Uh, what's What about. Uh, what's. Uh, Salim, Sandy, and other one going to do? I think we should get out of here, but I also feel like the others are kind of committing us to staying and fighting. Oh no, I we was... don't have enough space to get out of here. The cut, the ute's yeah. not working. I know Lucy's Lucy's um, managed to fix it and get started. Oh, I didn't hear that. Well, let's leave. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 So I you... thought the ute was stuffed. <laughs> no, no, yeah. she, she's no, I take all of that back. I give, an, I stay in the back of the trunk, 
and go, let's leave. Yeah. Back to the mountain, to the premission. Yeah. I, I scream out, fucking leg it! <laughs> yeah. I'm still going to take a shot at the nearest one that I can see. Yeah, no, no, fair enough. Um, so, yeah, lose, uh, so Sandy, Janista, and... Sandy and Janista are the only ones not currently in a... Oh, no, um, Salim's not in a vehicle either, are you? You're by no, I, I went over to help with the ute, but I didn't actually get in. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um. Did you? Okay. Uh. So you're probably going to have to give me some form of uh, athletics plus dexterity to try to see how fast you can actually get into the ute. If you want to just jump in the back of that, or if you want to return to the car. Uh, just get in the back yeah. of the ute. Okay. <laughs> get in and go. Yeah, I would get into. The I'm re-rolling that. Um. <laughs> you only get to re-roll one uh, day. Remember. Oh, fuck. Can I yeah, help okay, her get so in the unit? If that's, can I help Salim get in the unit if that's what he's doing? Yes. Yes, you can. Yeah, I would be getting in the unit because uh, it's nearest. The... I can't remember what I would, I would just grab you and just yank you up. Yeah, yeah. You're I'll, a freaking I'll, twink. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll say, um, <laughs> roll, roll me, uh, roll me just your strength, I guess. So me? A assist roll. Yeah, yeah. And just strength, no secondary? Uh, how, blood surge is for the scene, isn't it? Or is it just for one action? I believe it's one action. One action. Okay, uh, yes, yeah, so it's just strength then. Let me just double check that. Page 218. Uh, yeah, only a single roll of the dice. Yeah, yeah uh, okay, so just cool. strength. There we go. Nice. Okay, so that, that that's basically toes for three successes for Salim. Uh, and Sandy, what is what's your course of action? And you hear uh, Aldon yell out, uh, "Fucking leg it!" Basically. So I uh, noticed that. Um, what's, what's oh, this, you can what's see, it? you can see, you you saw the figure. You shot into the wild lane. You saw the figure dodge out the right way from your gun shot. Is Philip's character already inside the car? Uh, everyone's pretty much getting in the car now, yeah. Then I'll go for the car. Oh, they're going for the ute, sorry. Everyone's going for the ute. Uh, you'll be the only one in the car. It is closest to you, though. Yeah, it's the closest. Uh, but you do have the benefit of your celerity, so it's up to you. No, I'll, I'll grab the car. You grab the car, yeah. You're safe. Uh, I mean, you're such a good driver, you might as well, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep their backs. Like, watch their backs. Yeah. You gonna freaking Tokyo drift shoot out the window? <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> Put the load of shot out in the passenger seat, freaking floor it. <laughs> and in one hand, yeah, wheel on the other. That's how you do it. Yeah, exactly. Like as you're turning, like you just rest a shotgun, like the crook of your elbow on the windowsill. <laughs> yeah. uh, I would be hopping into the car as well because I would have only just gotten out of the door. That's fair enough. So I'm just hopping in yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so you're in the uh, the dry, uh, the passenger seat, um, like a blur. Um, I'll just say because you have celerity, you move so fast. You're just you're all of a sudden already in the uh, the driver's uh, thing, and you're uh, all gassing it, trying to turn turn around away. Uh, and yeah, as, as do I you see the one that was near Kit? Because I still need to take my shot. Yeah, I haven't actually fired shot, yet. Yeah. I was. You see the one next uh, who was is next to firearms and dexterity, isn't it? Uh, uh, composure. Ah, no difference to me. They're both the same, but can brag about it. <laughs> oh, yo, three out of three. <laughs> Let's no, go. No, that's good. Um, yeah, so you, as you're driving past, you shoot, and you um, manage to sort of hit it uh, square in the shoulder. Or, or I say you graze its shoulder, because it's pretty much its um, defensive pull. So, yeah. So you graze its shoulder, and you sort of see it flinch back, uh, and they sort of... It sort of rolls with the hit and rolls on the floor, and you sort of see it push off the ground, and it's now in full uh, werewolf form. Um, all of them uh, shift, and they start running after you. I I'm just gonna keep firing, man. I got six rounds. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So um. Yeah. So as uh, long as this chase continues and I can see them, I'm shooting. Yeah. So you see, obviously, you have um. 
you ha it's a double barrel, so you're fired once. So you'll have um, as you as you're in your chase scene, uh, you're uh, going the opposite way now, heading towards the Primogen. Uh, for uh, who who is in the back of the Ute? It's Salim, Sandy, it's... and Bell. Is that right? Yep. It's Salim uh, and Alden, I think. I think yeah, Salim, Alden, and Bell. Alden, sorry, yeah. not Sandy. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, you 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 start um, driving away. Uh, Salim, you you notice the um, there's currently three wheels all in war form uh, chasing after you. Uh, what you can notice due to your heightened senses is unlike the other werewolf who is basically running you butt naked, these guys are yeah. they ha are a either carrying weapons, shields, or they're armored. They've all got like items. They're all carrying items that with at and charging at you. What kind of items? Uh, so, like, just... you say weapons? weapons uh, like, and like swords. Um, I picture like swords, swords, Sorry? shields, armor. Like, they're, they're, they're so, all uh... geared up for melee combat. Okay, so am I picturing, like, medieval plate armor type thing, or am I picturing, like, modern body armor? Uh, sort of, like, the easiest way I could say is, like, in between. It's more sort of, like, uh what you would imagine like a bear hunters to wear type thing it's like metal plates but done in like a modern way if you imagine metal oh. medieval armor continued developing into the modern day that's basically what you're looking at if that makes sense like with modern techniques and so on i'm gonna try and take a shot at the one that's closest to me yeah yeah fair enough Uh, so uh, roll your uh, obviously your firearms and uh, composure. Yeah. I'm re-rolling that. Right. <laughs> Fair. Nice. All right. Um. So this time you managed to uh, you sh you aim at one and um you managed to get a solid uh shot off like sort of square in the chest and it yeah. sort of, you see it take the shot and it, and it like rolls back and it sort of continues the roll and it like now like sort of falls to the back of the pack but it, um, it keeps on running and you see the um, the sword it was carrying in its hand disappear and it um, sort of pulls out a large um, basically an elephant gun and it um, as it's running it sort of stops and, and now takes aim back at you guys um, and um, yeah, and then we'll go back to uh, da -da. Eldon, uh, and you, you basically see the Salim takes a shot. The one uh, at the closest falls back, rolls, and the uh, sword all of a sudden disappears and is replaced by a gun as it braces and proceeds to probably take a shot at you. Um, it is further in the back, so you would take a penalty if you were to try and shoot at it. Um, so it's not the closest one. No, it's and she did hit it. Bit. Yep. Oh, I think it. the fact that she hit it is going to stumble it enough that I won't worry about it. I'll still try and shoot the next close, the closest one. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Um, so uh, make your rolls. The next one is advancing um, towards you. Uh, and that's yeah, firearms composure. Not the best. Nope. But I'm, uh, I've only got three willpower left, so I'm not going to be rerolling one dice. <laughs> yeah, no, fair enough. Uh, you shoot, and um, you, you basically whiff it. Um, and I'll say while we're doing that, uh, is there anything that as, Sandy or Janice is doing? Actually, the, the one last thing for my action is, as I take the shot, I pretty much just yell out, FOCUS FIRE! DOOM! And just, um, like, I'd say pay attention to the closest ones. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fair enough. Um, oh, Val's in the back with you, that's right. Uh, yeah. Val sort of, um, she she lies down and she um, sort of takes like a, uh, she sort of uses the werewolf as sort of a height elevation. And she aims the rifle over the top of the um, the Ute and, and she fires at the same one um, Salim fired at and manages to um, hit its weapon, um, causing it to sort of uh, swing swing away from you. Uh, and not be able to take take aim. Okay. 
Yeah, it's and, and, and what's uh, Sa Sandy and Janessi? Obviously, you're in the lead car at the moment. Wait, are we at the lead car or the back? You're now so you're now leading because oh. you 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 guys both just turned around 180 and continued off. The Ute's now behind you because you're going oh. the exact opposite direction. Wait, what? 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 Wouldn't yeah, they come the I same way? I thought they were coming. Yeah, the no, 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 you're going the same way, but you're going now going opposite way to where you were heading before. So since they were oh, originally see. the tailing vehicle, they're now in front. Oh. If that makes so sense. So we did a 180, and now we're going you're back into. Yeah, both of you I thought, did I thought the Ute was the lead vehicle. Yeah. yeah so so, it crashed. Yeah. so yeah. now we're the tailing vehicle. Because uh, didn't yeah. you guys say you're going to head towards the premature now? Or are you skiing yeah. down the mountain? Yeah, so you're going... Okay, so you guys go... I guess it depends on whether or not Kit stopped before or after us. Stopped oh, before you guys, because I need to yeah. stop the moment you guys... So he would have turned around and gone, we would have turned and gone, so the ute should be the back oh, tackle. okay. Uh, okay, I'll keep the course of action and say they're sort of running alongside the road. Um, but, okay, so... Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, okay. So they're now, uh, now behind you. Uh, and yeah, so Janessa and Sandy, uh, you sort of see the werewolves run out the side of the the hill slash mountain, uh, heading towards, um, sort of gunning it for the ute. Yeah. So what's your, um, what's your, I guess, your course of action? So well, my plan is basically try to use the car that I'm in as, as a blocker, basically trying to block their sight of the ute. And if anyone gets close, try to just, you know, hit them with the car. No, yeah, no, fair enough. Um, do you want to yeah. give me a composure plus drive? Oh. And you'll get your celerity still. I'm gonna reroll. <clears throat> no. Okay, well you're you're fine. Um, yeah, you you keep on driving, and um, you notice one of the wheels sort of comes up to the side, and you manage to uh sort of hit a side swipe it with the car, sort of you know barge into it, and send it back off the road, and it um, starts something across the crap. I uh, start some downhill. Uh, the hill sort of starts giving way to another sheer cliff face. Uh, so you basically got a cliff going down, straight down, and a cliff going up. So they basically uh, they can't continue following you this way. So they sort of stop, uh, go back into their human forms, and sort of disappear back down down the hills. I know I wouldn't be able to see this. No. But would he be able to see their human forms, and would they look similar to the people who were shooting at us before? Oh, the, 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 you, you, I mean, simple logical deduction uh, would say that they're the same people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you can probably figure that out on your own. That yeah, okay. I mean, they're in the same direction. They started shooting back. Uh, then the rain picked up, and then they charged at you, essentially. Yeah. So essentially, if you guys didn't move and stood to fight, you would be all in melee combat with werewolves. Not something I want to do. Yeah, especially with, like, we have, like... Especially uh, since you don't hilariously outnumber them. Everyone yeah, it's the other them. way around. Well, yeah. even if there's, well, there was three of them in total, right? Yeah, you saw three at least, yeah. yeah. Would say would have been even there. then. Because <laughs> we had stuff to protect, so we wouldn't be that mobile. No. Yep, and you could have probably assumed that would have led to most of yours final death. But um, yeah, so you guys um, managed to get away. The rain is still um, getting heavier, but uh, very quickly, like only like a few minutes, it starts. You start to get out, and it returns to the original sunny, um, sunny sort of mid to late evening or uh, night, early morning. Like, it's like 2 p.m. or 2, 2 a.m. or something like that at the moment, we'll say. Uh, okay. Have we... 
sorry. Um, I'm really tired today. Um, have we got back to the Primogen's place? Uh, you're basically, you're probably a, uh, a good like 20 minutes off. The Primogen's okay. way ahead, like way up in the mountains. But we're probably going to get there before the sun rises. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you've got okay. like four hours before the sun rises. Yeah, we are planning to go back to Alex, which was like an hour to drive. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So, um, yeah, um, uh, are you guys going to do anything uh, in the rest of the car ride, or shall we just skip well, to... Well, Salim would actually kind of want to talk to Janista at this point, but I think I've We're lost track of who is in which vehicle, and I think she was in the car, not yeah. the ute. Yeah. 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 So, Eddie and I are in the car, and you're in the ute with everyone else. Yeah, so that's not possible right now. Uh, you're with Eldon and <laughs> Bell. Yeah. In the back, and then Lucy's in the car, or in the in the vehicle. So I turn to Bell. And I'm I'm constantly scanning behind the vehicle at all times now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just for context, like I am on a high alert. I turn to Bell and yeah. I'm like, "So, do you know anything about gargoyles?" Uh, no. I know that they uh, made out stone and live on top of churches. As much as the rest of us, but awesome. He said that it's a vampire. And it was working with the werewolves. Uh, we don't know that for sure. Could have just been an opportunist. It was after this, and I, I motioned to the the body of the werewolf. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Okay. Yeah. You're right. It could be a coincidence, but it doesn't look good. Janice is in the car thinking, "Oh man, that was not a coincidence about that gargoyle." <laughs> <laughs> Then we already, um, like, had an instant with, like, some vampires working with werewolves? Not that I'm aware of. Yeah, uh, we're. You, you kind of did, actually. Yeah, that's how we got Amber, I mean, whatever her name is. Aubrey? <laughs> Aubrey. Aubrey. Aubrey, yes. Oh, uh, that reminds me, uh, Aubrey, um, with the ghouls, um, it turns out that blood bonding, uh, the clauses you can blood bond, um, you can have b blood bond vampire thralls equal to your blood potency. So it's actually talking about how many vampires you can blood bond, not how many non vampires you can blood bond. So you could have actually had Aubrey and uh, the owl still. Oh. Uh, yeah. I mean, well, we've look, already it happened, through, we'll yeah, leave it. <laughs> yeah, we already went for yeah. a whole roleplay thing of you, um, yeah, all changing that. But in the future, I, um, I yeah, it's. How many vampires you can blood bond is equal to blood potency, not just the number of things you can blood bond. I thought it was the number of ghouls you could have. No, it's it's it yeah. at least it's vampire thralls, which is other vampires who are enthralled to you. Okay, yeah. I'll I'll go back and double check that later on then. Yeah, I I, I just saw somebody on Reddit talking about it because they asked to clarify that exact thing and they said no, it's the number. Of, everyone was like, no, it's the number of uh, uh, vampires you can blood bond. I was like, oh. Okay, well, we should probably take note of that for the future. But anyway, um, just just that on a quick note for future reference. But um, yes, you did. You did know that um, vampires leaked the information of the Anarch um, headquarters to some werewolves. And the werewolves came in and killed all the werewolves and all but one of the ghouls who was Aubrey. Ah, okay. A ghoul doesn't have to be blood bonded. They don't That's the to. difference. Yeah. They don't okay. Have, yeah. I, I'm with that now because a ghoul and a blood bond is actually different. I didn't realize that. Yeah, no, it's, it's different. Okay, I, I'm with you now. Okay, because I've, I've, the the wording for my animalism thing, the the familiar is specifically when you blood bond. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so I can only I can only have one of my blood bond animals because that's a blood bond. I can only yes. have one bond. Yes. But I can, there's technically speaking, you can have as many ghouls as you want. Yes, yeah. But you could also bond a ghoul. Yes. Technically. Yes. Uh, bonding them obviously makes them like a slave, whereas if you just have them as a ghoul, they'll be addicted to Vitae, but they won't necessarily 
uh, be an action. They won't be like, compelled to do stuff for you, yeah. like a like a bod bond does. Because a bond bond forces yeah. like they obedience have, and stuff. Yeah, they have to do willpower checks to disobey you and stuff. Yeah. Cool. All right. All right. Moving on. Sorry. Moving on. Moving yeah. on. Yeah. Good distinction. Good distinction there. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, moving on. Uh, yeah. So you have about twenty minutes sitting in the back of the vehicle. Uh, and you, you said you were going to say something to Bell, didn't you, weren't you? Oh, I asked her if she knew anything about ghouls. Oh, that's right, you did. Oh, sorry, about, about the, uh, the gargoyles. Yeah, no. Uh, and right. Salim's also sitting in the back. So, Salim, Eldon, Bell, uh, that's all you're going to say? You're not going to say anything else to each other? Before uh, well, as we, as we're sitting there, I'm like, well, we may as well explain everything while we've got the time. Is there anything else to say about your situation? <laughs> uh, well, yeah, more or less what I said, I was... I ran out to do an errand for my uh, sire, and when I returned, I saw him talking to uh, our good friend, the pirate, uh, and the uh, Zemichi Primogen and the La Sombra Primogen were both there as well. You know what they were talking about? Uh, no, I just saw them talk talking with one another, and they uh, they definitely seemed friendly with each other. And, uh, it's so just, just, just the note. So it was the Samichi and the Lasombra. Yeah, Samichi and Lasombra Primas, and plus, um, plus uh, Bell's sire. Did they see you? Uh, I hope not. Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and she sort of leans back it's against like... the uh, the Ute, and she's sort of facing out the road, same thing as like Eldon, and she just has like the gun semi at already mm. to shoot out. Um, I'm guessing you're all just probably going to lean against the uh, back of the vehicle. Yeah, it's pretty much just find like the most stable way to, to shoot a gun in, in the car. Yeah. It won't be by resting the gun on the freaking car, because that's just unstable. Yeah. But like, what's the most comfortable position to be in? I'll be in it. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. And I guess since Salim's in the same boat. Um, yeah, I'd be keeping an eye out for anything else it's following us. Like or... uh, yeah, do you want to give me another Wits plus Awareness plus all specs? Yeah. That was not the role because I did not add my all specs. No. Sorry, let me do that again. Yeah, um, that all specs makes a difference. It does. This is the problem with the thing click clicking too many times. Oop, there yeah. Go. Um. So uh, you do notice that you actually notice these uh, two gargoyles following you. Uh, they're quite far off in the distance, though. Hail. What was that? Up there. Yeah, and you sort of point them out, and you can see, mm. uh, like at first they they, they you saw sort of, uh, uh, Bell and uh, Eldon, you saw sort of see it. At first you mistake them for just birds, but you realize uh, upon like looking, you sort of squint at them, you can see that they're actually uh, they are actually gargoyles who are just high enough up that you can't. You wouldn't be able to feasibly uh, take a shot at them. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna pull out my handy dandy notebook, which is getting a lot of use these days. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I'm effectively gonna send an SOS to Alex. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna write on this on a piece of note. I'm gonna be like being hunted by werewolves and gargoyles, trying to meet up with. Um, Gangrel Primogen. Yeah. Up and in the mountains. Yeah. yeah. Just the beat you I'm not but sure I... if it's like send help or like just don't expect us home tonight. Yeah. No, fair um, enough. is are, are you, you going to be sending it back with your owl? That's what I'm going to attempt to do. Yes. Okay. Uh, if but I... I'm also conscious that there's gargoyles in the air as well. If I can be. Him right I'm going to say, we need to get a message to Alex and start writing it out. Okay, you know me, I'm very uh, transparent. I'm, I'm going to, like, 
add to it, but I'm not going to say this out loud because I'm not sure if I want Belle and Lucy to know this. Uh, I'm going to say um, we found a vampire attempting to embrace a werewolf. Oh, yeah. I'll add that. Um, you, you know, corpses with us kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, corpse of vampire, <laughs> vampire werewolf is with us. Werewolf yeah. embraced by antediluvian blood question mark in brackets <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah unsure how to proceed maybe late home <laughs> uh, yeah Val sort of looks at you two like uh, like back and forth and she's like looking at the werewolf and she's like it's sort of like registers she's like ah yeah that sort of makes sense why there's a staked werewolf on the back you know type thing because obviously that's kind of a weird thing to have I mean I was trying to make sure she couldn't see that so she um, puts it together that it's a, a, a kindred? <laughs> I'm trying to make sure she couldn't see that note. Oh, okay, couldn't see the note. Right, okay, fair enough. Mm. So you saw exactly what I'm writing, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because okay. I'll... And then what I'm going to... Is it, it's not raining anymore, is it? No, no, it's back to being the regular uh, clear skies. Um, I'm pretty much just gonna call Starbucks, holding like the note up in the air above the um, the Ute, so that it can just come grab it and go. Yeah. So. Uh, as, as and I'm you, just gonna tell it take this to Alex. Yeah. Um, as you do that, after about a minute, um, it lands. Uh, you put the note in Starbucks uh, foot and send it off. Um, and I'm gonna tell it fly in the trees. There is there is danger in the skies tonight. Yeah. Uh, Salim, after about 15 minutes, you notice one of the gargoyles all of a sudden descends. Oh, boy. Rip Starbucks. <laughs> as fun while it lasted. As, as in, like... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm going to give Starbucks some of my blood right before it goes. I'm going to feed it. Okay, fair enough. Yep. Try and get that ghoul juice just going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, you do that. Uh, and then we'll like, jump... I'm, I'm giving it I'm giving it a good proper feed so that I know it's empowered by my blood as best as possible. Yeah, um, so uh, we'll jump back to Janista and Sandy. Are you doing anything on the car ride? I'm going to ask Janista something. Oh. oh, yes. So do all werewolves are able to summon storms? Because that seems to be... Uh, well... well we do know that um, werewolves are do get abilities from the spirits, so it's entirely possible that werewolves, that maybe not all werewolves, but certain werewolves, would be able to control the weather. And how powerful would they have to be? Uh, powerful enough? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much the answer. <laughs> it's like saying how long's the piece of string. Yeah. I mean, when Werewolf comes out, you'll we'll have a better idea in uh, W5, which is meant to come out sometime next year. They also released, mm. uh, announced um, Hunter the Reckoning getting a new edition. Yeah. Oh. And people are angry about it because they uh, removed the imbued, which is interesting. Which is like the whole Hunter's thing. So it's more like Hunter's Hunter. I feel Hunter. like people. I feel like people are going to be angry, whatever. Yeah, you know, because people hated the <laughs> idea of the imbued because they, again they were trying to connect it to Exalted, and mm. like, people hated that because they're like, you're just making it even more complicated than it needs to be, and then now they're removing it. They're like, well, what's the difference between this and Hunter the Vigil? And it's like, yeah, well, I do want to see how they do the Hunter's powers though, and I can't remember what pissed people up about the werewolves. Like people, were, I heard people saying like. Instead of it being like the apocalypse, it's more like the apocalypse has come and gone, and the werewolves are mm. basically lost. And I'm like, I'm like saying they're like, well, it kind of makes sense. Like it's kind of it's, it's, an interesting idea. Yeah, but it's like it's it does close off a whole bunch of the cosmology though, because the whole apocalypse thing is like everyone's different faith has a different opinion on it. Yeah. If it comes and goes, then there's now a definitive cosmology about the apocalypse. Yeah. So it does kind of close a few things in that, which is. Interesting. interesting. It'll be interesting to see how they um, handle it. I will be picking up Werewolf 5th um, uh, Edition when it drops, um, because I do want to at least give it a read and have a go at it. Um, 
Like, I'm hoping it means that they'll tone down the whole furry eco terrorist thing they had going on, because it kind of <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of weird. I mean, I know Werewolf the Forsaken was more like uh, uh, Werewolf Spirit Police, which I think is more interesting. But yeah, in this it's more like, yeah, fear eco-terrorists. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, we'll jump back to the uh, thing. So what was um, Sandy going to say to uh, Janesta? Oh, no, that was just the question. Just that question? That was it? Yeah. Yeah, alright. Uh, so yeah, so you spend the rest of the 20 minutes relative in relative silence as you... Uh, pull up to a sort of like a uh, like a almost like a ranger's outpost uh, in the forest. Like it's like you know sort of like how you get to like uh, like a uh, park reserves. How if you go into like really deep parks like this, where it's like in the mountains, mm -hmm. you pull up and there'll be like a car park and there'll be like a like a, a couple of convenience things for people who want to you know basically hiking or something and then there's like the ranges outpost that's basically what you pull up to oh, and i'm imagining a ski resort but without the snow uh yes that, that's actually a good idea yeah that's basically it uh but not as it doesn't like have a hotel or anything it's more like yeah. you have the ranges outpost uh and then you'll have like like i say like a coffee cut uh, like a coffee a small coffee shop and then maybe like something for like actual mountaineering equipment that people may need before going on a hike or something. Um, yeah, and then they all jump out. Um, Lucy uh, basically goes up to the back door of the um, the ranger's office, and then yeah, she basically just asks for you to all wait outside while she goes in. Posting up and on behind one of the utes and just looking at him, this guy looking around. My shotgun's loaded and ready. <laughs> yeah. I got six shots left and probably not enough werewolves to put them into. <laughs> no, more than enough werewolves to put them into. It'll take more than six shots to kill them all. Yeah, it, it definitely would. Uh, what's, what's the others all doing? Uh, I'm guessing it's Salim if you want to talk to Janestas, now is probably the time. Yeah. Um. Uh, but before you talk, um, what's Sandy gonna do? Uh, gonna ask if uh, was, uh, Elden Weiss like still pretty tense. I feel like I'd be like, there was gargoyles in the air. I tried getting a message to Alex, but goodness knows a Starbucks will make it past them. Hopefully Starbucks makes it. And then I guess I'll hearing that there's still more things, I'll pull I pull out the shotgun from the car door. Yeah, and you're gonna also basically take position next to uh, Aldon. Yep. Yeah. Uh so um just as you like open the door to get out, uh you notice uh basically a giant rabbit jumps on the seat after you, and then jumps out, and then uh, hops its way on over to Bell. A giant rabbit. A giant rabbit. How big is a giant? Like we're talking like. Uh, like a full size. size a, a full size. Do you know how big a Flemish giant is? I have one. Yes. Yes. Uh, have, do you know how uh, big they get when they're full sized? Yeah, I mean, she's sitting like just a few feet from me. Yeah, uh, about <laughs> twice the size of that. Okay, so big. <laughs> yeah, very big. So, you know, 10 to 15 kg rabbit. It's freaking massive. Yes. yes. <laughs> it's a very big Oh, so, I go, duh! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> um, <laughs> then I look at, I go, cute rabbit. Uh, this is and, uh, yeah, Bell's, yeah, Bell's oh, goes, Janista, by the way. I don't think I've we've officially been, we've officially met. No, and she like sort of picks up the uh, rabbit in one hand and she sort of like slings it over like half her shoulder. She's like holding its back end and she goes out and she like goes to like give you a handshake with the other hand. And she goes, uh, Belle, uh, uh, pleasure to meet you. Um, yeah, I, I haven't seen you around. I, I'm guessing you're new to the city? Not exactly. Oh, um, do, do you want to tell me about it or? Uh... Long story short, when we 
Uh, we got here a few a few months ago, and we've been holed up in a library. Oh, uh, okay. Um, well, uh, um, I guess that that would probably take a lot longer to explain everything than we probably have. Yep. Exactly. All right. I also don't want to bore you with the details. Yeah. Oh, fair enough. And then she sees sort of um, Salim standing like sort of behind you guys, uh, you guys, and she sees that Salim's probably clearly wanting to talk to you. And she goes, ah, well, I'll leave you two to uh, talk about whatever you need to talk about. I'm going to go sit down over there. Okay. Uh, I give the rabbit a quick pet on the the closest end to me, whether it's the head or the ass. Uh, yeah, it's and the back. I... And it, it sort of turns to you. And this is where you notice what's odd. Its eyes are in the front of its head like a predator. It's not on the side of head, I <laughs> respect. What's odd, aside from the fact that it's twice the size of the biggest rabbits ever? Yeah. I sort of... I, I, after noticing that, I kind of pull my hand back slowly and give a give a well-to-do nod. <laughs> yeah. And then I turn to Salim. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to kind of shrug. <laughs> They must be, yeah. right? They, they mess with everything. Okay. Two things. Firstly. Uh, yes? You seem to know a lot about all of this stuff. Though. So. Oh my gosh, are we bringing out the doubt again? <laughs> really? No, that's point two. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's deal with point one, then. Point one. <laughs> we have a... vampire-werewolf hybrid in the back of a ute. Do you know what kind of abilities something like that would have? Because maybe I'm just still being paranoid. Maybe it's the beast. But I don't know what werewolves can do. And it is strange that there were gargoyles working with them. So do you know anything you've seen, whether we're de dealing with werewolves or whether someone is building some kind of army of abominations up here? Well, I think it's probably a mix of both based on what we've seen. Gargoyles were created by the Tremere in order mm -hmm. to be don't don't give me that knowing grin of yours. How dare you? You know I'm not about that stuff myself. Anyway, the gargoyles rebelled and they are now not big fans of vampires, specifically my clan. We... And so it's perfectly reasonable that they would be working with other enemies of vampires in order to get their revenge so to speak oh well okay that makes sense from their side but from what you said about the werewolves it doesn't make sense from theirs well from their point of view I would say enemy of my enemy is my friend they might not need the help but I don't see why they couldn't use it. Okay, well, I hope it's just that. Uh, in terms of your other question about this this hybrid abomination, um, it's really difficult to say. I mean, I haven't personally... Oh, can I do a uh, intelligence plus a cult to see if... You absolutely can, I... yep. Um, where is it all? There we go. Oh, um, what do I... <laughs> what do yeah. I... Yeah, you're just like, I, I know everything. Hurry up and tell me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know that it will have all the powers of uh, the werewolf um, as a newly... Um, as a, sorry, as a... Have all the powers of a newly embraced vampire. Um, and it will have... For the a werewolf part, it will have its shape-changing abilities. It will have, um, which will start stacking total strength um, with obviously its uh, raw vampire power. 
Um, and ob obviously, if it is uh, Methuselah level, it's going to come out with like a blood potency of like three or four. So uh, that's going to be fun because it, um, it will have obviously the huge blood surge and just bonuses to the disciplines it starts with. Um, on top of that, you know it's going to lose the vast, pretty much all its spiritual powers, uh, but it will be able to talk with spirits um, that are wormed aligned. Okay. So uh, they're called Banes, but uh, you'll just know them as uh, the bad spirits, evil spirits that can talk to. Okay. <laughs> So I go. Oh, in and terms it's going to have and it's going to have chronic depression because okay. it's um, it's natures. Uh, it's now got two natures which are diametrically opposed. Okay. So I say, in terms of its abilities, it'll have the same abilities as a newly embraced vampire, which would also stack with the werewolf's shape-changing abilities. It won't keep its spiritual powers, however, it will be able to talk with uh, the spirits that we don't want them to talk to, the evil spirits. Not to mention if it is um, Moldovian blood that they used, then... It'll be more powerful. It will be a force to be reckoned with. So it's definitely something that we need to settle. Let's just say we need to find out how to kill, how to properly kill this thing, and we need to do it quickly. But we don't have any evidence yet that there's more than one of them, so. Well, that's, that's the something. thing. Why were the werewolves going after it? I think that our friend that we met up there is working with if i had to make a random guess our friend that we met is working with the werewolves to create a horrific army of abominations in order to bite us and probably wipe us out does anyone else overhear this conversation out of curiosity um, uh, how close are you guys standing to, um, the rest of the group? Well, because of what I know I want to... I would definitely not want Lucy and Belle to hear. Yeah. I would not necessarily be as... He wouldn't necessarily want the rest of the group to hear, but he'd be less, like... I'll pro okay. Uh, I'll, I'll say by that you guys. I like say you guys are basically standing next to the car. Bell's gone to sit in front of the ranger's office. Lucy's inside. Um, Aldon and Sandy are standing by the Ute. Uh, you can probably hear that they're talking, but you won't wouldn't be able to hear what they're talking about. Okay. Yeah. So, um, what does Salim take from uh, Janista's deduction? Well, what he's thinking is that, yeah, they really need to make this Alex's problem pretty quick. And also that from everything he's seen, the werewolves really don't need to go to that much effort to wipe them out. Mm. So do you have a different conclusion that you want to the uh, to uh, ear towards Janesta? Or to Janesta, you should say. Hmm. I mean, I think what I think he'd think about it for a little while, and what he'd say is, "I think there's holes in that, but I don't actually have a better idea. So, let's go with that until we know more. Because if it's a worst case scenario and that's not actually what they're doing, it's not that bad. It's better to be prepared for the worst." Assuming that so, is the worst. You ready for point two? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Judas pulls out some earbuds and puts them in and goes, Ready? I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, Judas the ghost sort of goes, All right, let's hear it. Plan 
isn't like it isn't like all the crap that gets thrown at you in life. It isn't it isn't something you can control, but your your clan is something you are because someone picked you. Because someone thought that you'd be a good addition that you'd fit. So well, um, I'm oh, going to okay. propose that you tell me why your sire thought you'd be a good Tremere. And I'll tell you why my sire picked me. Sound fair? Let's get out of this situation. Once we're back and once we've had a chance to actually sort this shit out then we can have a full on heart to heart Salim but right now I think is not the good time and also in a metagame perspective I don't know why my sire picked me uh, I'm gonna <laughs> say that okay so you're less picked to be part of Trankamere more picked to be part of House Kana you were straight up embraced into um, the Anarchs uh, you know that you're basically working against the main house Tremere. Um, okay. Yeah. You're, you're, you're basically fully to get dedicated to um, uh, Kana's cause. You're probably some nerdy uh, say, I'd say some nerdy university student who was interested was in interested. well, probably actively an active um, like political activist slash feminist slash whatever and you're picked for your strong stance as well as your um incredible intelligence so from from a out of game perspective and like i'm perfectly happy to say like we leave this till next session so that you can like hash it out some more and yeah, in game I like i think it. in game i think he'd be willing to accept oh yeah things are still kind of on fire Yes. <laughs> Let's just <laughs> chill for now. Let's, yeah, you're probably we got werewolves chasing us. We got yeah. a hybrid in the boot. Let's just let's just fucking chill. <laughs> yeah, and it'll probably take you like you know an hour to sit through going like, well, here's my life story before I was embraced, and here's what I did after we were embraced, and this is the entire mm -hmm. ideology of House Kana. And uh, again, yeah, you would be like, well, this is my why my um why my uh. Uh, Sai embraced me and so on, and it would probably be like half an hour of conversation each way, just to go through all yeah. that detail. So, you weren't like yeah. the others who are just random uh, shovelhead embraces. Okay, so he he's he's gonna accept that. He'll not like. Okay, okay. And we'll say at this time, um, uh, what was his name? It's like uh, Mister something in French. Oh, uh, that's right, Mister Leroux. Uh, Mr. Lee Rue comes out of the um, the building with uh, Lucy behind and uh, one other figure you um, haven't met before uh, and they they all uh, look at you and they're like all right uh, what was this about uh, the uh, what was this about the blood suckers not the blood suckers you're the blood suckers uh, what's this about the fairies? <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I turned to, to Slim. How many were there? <laughs> I mean, I saw at least three, and uh, plus some of us maybe working with them. At least two of them. He goes, Oh, gargoyles, that's right. He goes, Gargoyles? Ha, huh, I haven't seen one of them for like. 150 years at least. Uh, We're also they... about 150 seconds. Fair enough. Um, oh, when was the last time you saw them? Um, I guess I described the last time we had ago? sight of them. Yeah. 15 minutes ago? Hmm. And they're, 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 they're following you? Yep. Following, attacking. Yeah. I highly doubt they're working with the uh, werewolves. Uh, 
this would probably be two parties actively at work. Probably on opposite ends of the spectrum. Now, why were they so interested in you? Well, well you see... <laughs> <laughs> we did kind of kill one of theirs. Uh, but it's... It's a long story, and uh, respectfully, sir, I think we need to tell the sheriff about it first. Hmm. Uh, yes, that, that would probably be a good idea, although... Uh, the way there seems to be uh, closed off, shall I say, for lack of better terms. So, uh, how do you lot all feel about a hike? I don't think we could hike with what we need to show them. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we have to be dragging this werewolf the whole way. I mean... Um, so... Would we, uh, he, he would we get there? And he's like, oh, well, not today. It would probably be... Uh, tomorrow, or oh, maybe the day after, actually. It's quite the distance to hike. Well, if it's got to be done, it's got to be done. By uh, the way, anyway, Elden, and I hold my hand out. Uh, okay. New gangrel, don't think we've met. No, no, uh, we'll probably have time on the journey there to uh, run down it, run through everything. Uh, but uh, yeah, Mr. LaRue, I think you... I have assuming Alex has told uh, you of me, or at the very least, to my uh, my uh, childer here. Wait, so who's talking? Uh, the, the Mr. Larue. And he's talking about Lucy. Yeah, he's referring to Lu uh, Lucy as his childer. Yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to make sure I get my connotations right. Okay. Yeah, I'm like, yes. Yes. Premonition of our client went missing. You stepped up. Uh, yeah, more. Lucy or less. has. Lose the airs on you, Kindred, just like myself. Uh, yes, yeah, that, that's, uh, well, yeah, that's pretty much the 101 of the situation. Um, a few of our other members have also disappeared, so um, we have sort of moved further away from the outskirts. Um, some The ones who went missing went missing when they started hunting closer to the city, so we assume it's either these werewolves here, uh, or it's another force at work. I feel like you'd be safer in the city. Uh, no, we're never safer in the city. Yeah, well... <laughs> I'm not safe anywhere I go, apparently, so I'll take your word for it. <laughs> hmm. All so, right. we're hunkering down for the day. Well, we're gonna instantly start moving on, and... Uh, can I ask why you're bringing the werewolf corpse with you? If you hand it to them, they'll probably stop following you. I kind of turn to everyone else and kind of give them the, the knowing question of, do we just come clean to him? Because <laughs> I feel I'm, like we should. I'm gonna, like... Okay, I'm gonna shake my head, I'm gonna say again, I think we should talk to the sheriff about it first. It evidence, sir, of something else that's going on. Okay. Um, um what does what does Andy and Janista do? I yeah. agree. I I nod in agreement. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll turn to Liru and go. There's a long story to tell. But we've encountered werewolves before, and we have sus suspicions to believe that this one's linked to the ones that we've encountered. We kind of need to carry the corpse as evidence. Alright, well, that seems uh, reasonable enough to me. All right, I'll well, drag it the whole way, it, don't worry. You get it ready, um, I'll, assemble our, I'll assemble the rangers, and uh, we'll start heading off. Um, and he sort of throws each of you uh, a bag, and as you... Uh, look at it, you realize he's basically handed it each of you a body bag. And he's like, you're going <laughs> to need this tonight. Um, we will be traveling through the throughout the day, but, um, well, uh, our ghoul, my ghouls will be uh, there to help us do that. Uh, there's no point in wasting time and not gaining any ground. All right, sir. So we'll start. We'll make um, we'll make as much of the journey as we can tonight, and then 
once the dawn starts approaching, we'll get in our bags and the rangers will continue us, continue taking us up then. Sounds good. And um, yeah. he, get, he chucks you an extra bag for the werewolf. Yeah, I was just wondering what I should do with the werewolf. Yeah. Bag it up and you just like hop it off my shoulders like fireman carry style. <laughs> Because you can't drag a bang across the mountains, it just won't no, last. No, they are, well, they are um, the, the uh, so-called rangers, okay, or the ghouls, um, they come out and they uh, they have actual, they're carrying stretchers with them. Okay, yeah. that makes sense. <clears throat> yep, so um, we will end the session there, uh, and we'll continue on uh, tomorrow, tomorrow night. Um, as you, well, well, not tomorrow, tomorrow, but the next night for the characters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As you start to uh, continue your journey uh, in the forest. Through the mountains, jeez, this is going to be fun. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, with uh, werewolves hunting you actively. And gargoyles, too. I ask for more ammunition. <laughs> yeah, more ammunition would be great. I've got I'm six not, slugs um, left. I'm gonna need more. <laughs> I'm not actually sure how much. Um, I think we fired the, the same amount actually, so I think I, that probably means I have six slugs as well. It yeah. depends on if you've been firing both or single barrels. I've only I fired a single been... barrel once or twice, so I fired two shots. I've been firing double barrel, I believe. So you'd have four. Okay. Yeah. That makes right. sense. That will end it there.